Hey guys, it's May May and it is time to decorate the mailbox at our craft cottage. Now, this is not going to take a whole lot of supplies and it's going to go really quick. So I think I'll run through the supplies first and then we'll throw it together. I went to Walmart and I picked up two of these um, bushes or sprays. These were, let me show you, $3 each. I picked up two of those. And I also picked up two of these pretty glittery sunflowers and these were $2 a piece, you can see there. Now you can do this same thing with Dollar Tree flowers. A lot of people ask me, can I do this from the Dollar Tree? And you sure can. However, you might have to spend more than $3 to get a pretty full um, spray like this. You may not have to, just depending on what your Dollar Tree carries. Mine doesn't really carry anything that's kind of this full. So I went ahead and went to Walmart and picked these guys up. So I've got my flowers and you're gonna need, I'm gonna use a chenille stem. This is a pipe cleaner. And I always carry, I always keep these brown ones kind of in my stash because they're perfect for this kind of thing. And some zip ties. Now this is a big old bag that I get. I love to keep zip ties around. This is just a big old bag of zip ties. So we'll use some of those. And ribbon. This ribbon is from a store called Home Accents. I bought it last year on sale for $8.99. And let me see if I can get into it and show you what it looks like. So this is the ribbon I'm going to use for the bow. It's very, um, it's very sparkly and it's a mesh ribbon. So making a bow out of this is really easy because it just really keeps the body. So we're going to do that as well. And lastly, you'll need some wire. Now I'm going to use wire. You could use something else. This is what I'm going to use to attach it to my mailbox. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. But you could use something else. But if you have this in your stash, it's perfect. But if you don't, you could use zip ties connected together, pipe cleaners connected together, ribbon. You could tie it on. I'm just going to use this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get these tags off. And sometimes I forget. Have you ever been working on a project and forgot to get the tag off? And then when you finish, you're like, um, I left the tag on there. <laughs> so I'm going to cut these guys out. Now I'm going to tell you, this project is so easy and so quick. If you blink, you just might miss it. So I've got the stickers off of everything. And these guys are too long. I want to show you. I want to see. Oh, and I just dropped a leaf, but I can put it back. But see how long this stem is? It's really long. I don't need that much of that stem. So what I'm going to do is bring one of these guys over and just kind of eyeball where I want these flowers to lay. And I want them to lay something like that, kind of to the top of it. And then I'm going to look, and I can trim this off a good bit. I'm going to trim this off almost even with this little stick. Now, you can do this with a pair of wire snips. That's super easy. But what I'm going to do is take my Tim Holtz shears, and I'm cutting away a circle on that plastic part. And then I'm just going to bend it where I cut that, and it will snap loose. I might have to bend it a couple times, but you see how it comes loose? I'm going to do that on both flowers. You can totally do that with wire snips. I just didn't have any handy, so... That's the way I'm going to do it. Let's put this leaf back on. Here's a good spot. Now, this is where it goes fast, and if you blink, you'll miss it, okay? I'm going to take one of the little bush sets and push it this way. I'm going to take the second one, and I'm going to put it this way. Now, what I want you to imagine is that your mailbox is going to be right here, okay? This will be over the mailbox. I don't want this to be quite that far apart, so I'm going to move this together and give myself about a good handful width between where the flowers start. So something like that. Then I'm going to take these guys and just lay them in here. Now let me say this. If you found a um, flower set that already had these in it, you wouldn't have to add these. But I thought this needed a little bit of yellow and a little bit of glitter with that. So that's why I'm adding these. So I'll put one that way. Then I'm going to take one and put it this way. Just like this. Now all I'm going to do is zip tie this together in the middle. So with it laying like I want it, I'm going to slide this zip tie underneath to one side. I'm going to attach it and pull it closed. I was trying to do that where you could see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to close that down and you can see how I've grabbed that side together. Now I'm going to grab this side just the same. So slide that zip tie under and close it up. Now this guy is attached together. All I'm going to do now is snip these loose pieces off. There's one and two. All right, so it looks weird. I know. Don't worry. We're going to make it look right in just a few minutes. I'm going to sit this aside so we can work on the bow. To make the bow, the first thing I do is loosen the ribbon. And this piece right here, I'm going to drop under the table onto the floor and just let it roll as I pull ribbon. So you won't see that, but it's down there on the floor now. And here's my ribbon. 
Now I'm going to start with a circle. See how I'm doing that? Just a circle. And that circle is going to be what kind of determines the size of my loops. You can see I, I want it pretty big because I want it to sit up on top of my mailbox really cute. So I'm starting with this circle. Then, let me turn it this way because my ribbon is backwards. So I've got my loop. I'm going to squish this in the middle. Okay. And this piece here is going to come and make another loop when I push it under. And again, I'm just going to squish it in the center. So you can see I'm just going to make loops. And every time I make a loop, I'm going to go back to the middle and squish it all together. Squish is a technical term today. See that? Again, I'm going to keep going. Now this mesh, re this mesh ribbon sticks to itself so bad. And so I kind of have to fight with it. Um, so you may have to fight with it too a little bit if you use this meshy one. But it really makes a good bow. When you're finished, it's really hard to mess this bow up with this meshy ribbon. Now, I've got my center loop, and then I've got six loops to one side and six loops to the other side. Something I'm going to do here to help me, this got really bulky in the middle. Let me move my hand. Can you see how bulky it got? And I even stopped squishing it. I'm going to let a zip tie do the work here. I was going to use a chenille stem, but this ribbon is so thick, if I take a zip tie and put this in the middle, I can pretty much get as much leverage as I need to squish this bow in the middle without having to do it with my hands because I don't think I'll be able to do it as well with my hands. So I've got that zip tie there. I'll stick it through the little dude here. <laughs> if we can get it in there. So I've got it started and I'm going to pull it as tight as I can in the middle. And it's going to be what gives my um, bow all the body because I'm going to get it really tight using a zip tie. So see how snug I've got that center? That's perfect. One other thing, I've decided not to have any tails hanging down because I'm going to have flowers to either side. So I'm going to cut this off even here so I don't have any tails. But if you want bow tails, before you close this up, you just pull out a longer piece and add it in to the middle like this, okay? And add it to your zip tie. And then you can cut this and have tails. But I'm not going to have tails. Instead, I'm just going to cut this away where it's at. I can also cut away this zip tie and now we can fluff. This is the fun part and that zip tie is holding it so tight that you can really get in here and fluff this guy around and really make this bow appear. So there's our bow after we fluff it all out and move all the pieces around. And don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like you want it to at this point. Once you put it on your mailbox and get all the pretties on it, it'll be fine. Now I did a zip tie there, so I'm going to add a chenille stem in so that I can wrap this around our flowers. So I'm just going to stick this little guy in here and twist it on. And that will help me be able to twist it to the flowers we already created. So now I've got some something to attach it with. So we'll bring back over the flowers. And now this little bow, little bow, it's a pretty big bow, is going to live right here, okay? So I'm going to take the chenille stem I just did, sit this bow down, and I'm going to twist it in the back. And I'm just basically attaching that bow to the flowers we made. I'm going to snip away the excess because I don't need it. Now before I do any fluffing, okay, remember I told you about this wire? I'm going to attach this wire to two sides. I'm going to attach it here and go ahead and get it prepped. Then I'm going to cut a long length and when I put this on my mailbox, I'm going to take this wire and run it under the mailbox and wrap it around over to here and twist it back together. So let me show you how I'm going to prep for it. I'm just going to find some places where I can feed this wire through. So I've just stuck it under some of those flower stems. And then I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to twist it really snugly. I'm going to snip off that piece I don't need there. And that gets me the first handle. Now I won't know how long I need this until I get to my mailbox to take this under, bring it around, and then attach it over here. So I'm just going to leave this attached and head out to the mailbox. Same here. I'm going to fluff this on the mailbox and I'll show you why when we get there. So now at this point I've taken the swag out to the mailbox and I'm just going to place it on top. 
and I'm wrapping that wire around and measuring how much I'll need. I cut off a strip and I just wrapped it to the other side and tightened it down. Now I don't tighten it as tight as I think it needs to be this first time, so I do go back and tighten it again. You'll see it wiggle a good bit when I'm deck when I'm like fluffing the flowers, but no worries. I go back and add another piece and tighten it all down at the end. So now those pieces are sticking straight out and that's not what we want. Now we start from the underneath and we pull the branches down and bend the wires to where they start to wrap around the sides of the mailbox. So I do that to the right hand side and I also do that to the left hand side. And just fluff them out any way you want them to look, just kind of stretch them around and it will kind of form to the sides of the mailbox. That's the reason we did them kind of out and hanging wide from the mailbox and then we're gonna wrap them down. Again, you have to do all the fussing to make it look good. So spend some time on this part, fluff the bow, etc and see how I've kind of wrapped it around the side. Then I didn't like the way the flowers were looking exactly, so I just go in there and grab the wires and start bending and placing to put them exactly where I want them. And I play with the bow to get it right as well. So this is kind of by eye, how you want it to look. Kind of walk around, make sure it looks like exactly what you want it to look like all the way around. When you're finished, you'll have this beautiful mailbox topper. And I did, like I said, I did go back and rewire it one more time for stability. So you might want to do that too, add another piece of wire. But there you go. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. I know you'll do a stellar job on your mailboxes for fall. So when you do, share them with us over on our Facebook group called May May Made It and So Did I. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.